led by the noble Yuan Shao, the anti-Dong Zhuo coalition succeeded in defeating Dong Zhuo's forces. They soon disperse, with each lord returning to his own lands. Dong Zhuo, who had fled to Shan'an, is soon killed by the betrayal of Lubu. As the chaos of the land peaks, each of the lords begins to make his move. The first to show their hands are Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu. The forces of the two become embroiled in a vicious battle with each other. The other lords soon take sides as the land is split into the two factions. However, though they had chosen sides in this battle, they still had their own desires and agendas. Each soon began to make plans to fulfill those desires. Curse that wretched Yuan Shu! How could he join forces with Gong Sun Zan? No sooner did Gong Sun San return from Luoyang than he launched an attack against us. He has always been looking for a gap in your defenses, my lord, and has wanted to claim Ji province for himself. The fact that he has joined forces with a pitiful man like Yuan Shu is proof of that. Lord Yuan Shao, I bring news of the Yellow Turbans, who rose in rebellion in Qing province. Qing province? We are currently facing a major crisis, you know. Leave petty details like that to Cao Cao or someone else. Uh, uh, of course, my lord, forgive me. Master Yuan Chao, I am sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, Zhang He, what news regarding the Paishan bandits? They are building quite the military presence in the Northern Ji province. However, their rapid expansion has led to a number of challenges for them. It would be unwise to leave them be. I suggest we launch a strike as soon as possible. We cannot do that, Lord Yuan Shao. If we use any troops from here for such a purpose, Gong Sun San will launch an attack at once. The Paishan are little more than bandits anyway. We need not overly worry about them. Is that so? Their leader, Zhang Yan, is quite cunning. They have already dispatched of the unit sent to deal with them. They should not be overlooked. <clears throat> I believe both of you make good points. My lord, an army has been spotted marching towards us. Their banners indicate they serve Lu Bu. Lu, Lu Bu? What could he possibly want? I don't believe he intends to engage us in war, but should we send him away? No, I cannot do that. Not even to Lu Bu. It would be dishonorable for a nobleman to turn away one who has come to pay him a visit without a good reason. Master Yuan Shao, perhaps we could enlist them in our campaign against the Paishan bandits. With the assistance of the mighty Lu Bu, we should be able to deal with the bandits with only a minimum number of troops. Oh, that is a splendid idea. This may be just the solution to our problems that we have been looking for. Indeed. But I must admit I do have reservations about using Lu Bu. Nevertheless, we must greet Lubu and his men as guests. I will go and see them once I have made my preparations for battle. My lord.
everything's covered in a delightful blanket of snow, but there's just something otherworldly about the snow. I'm just another soldier making my way. The Yuan family now control the times. Lords Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu are especially strong. The Yuan family are quite famous, meaning the two of them were born into greatness. I wonder if I could get some of that chosen blood. Hold on, Lord Yuan Shao? Wow, you really do shine with noble light. It's so bright, I couldn't even see your face. historic town of Ye, stony ancient capital, has many a hidden alleyway. You could never map it all. Master Yuan Shao, you have my gratitude for graciously taking us in like this. Of course. Tell me, what is it that you want from me? Why are you here? I heard that a major battle was brewing between you and Yuan Shu. I want to be a part of it. I will help you! Hurry up and let me fight! How dare you speak to a nobleman like that? <clears throat> but if that's the way you feel, then I will allow you to take care of the enemy I am currently dealing with. Whatever. All I want is a strong opponent to test myself against. It is time for us to eliminate the Paishan bandits! We will slay their leader, Zhang Yan, and bring judgment down upon those who would victimize the peasants of this land. My lord! Leave it to me! Huh. Yeah. Match for us! Show them! The way a nobleman's army fights! It's not in my nature to take orders from worthless peons. I will wreak havoc and show the world my might. Staying holed up in the main camp bores me. I'm heading for the front lines. Come on, you dogs! Take everything! Smash anyone who resists us! We're being attacked by the Mount Hay bandits! Please save us! You kept our belongings safe from those bandits. Thank you. Please take this. You've saved our lives! Please, accept this token of gratitude. Such great strength! I'm pulling back for now. Get the 
Another enemy officer bows before me. Yes. That's the spirit. Press the attack. Thank you so much for your aid. This is a reward for you. All right. We've taken back the village. Push on to the enemy's main camp. I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable. Your skills are simply <laughs> magnificent. <laughs> Report! Intruders are getting closer to the camp! Our forces are in danger! What's that? It's not just the Paishan? I don't care who it is! Get rid of them! That monster Lubu killed my grandfather. Where is he? It'll go a lot easier if you just tell me the truth. We shall break through the enemy's gates! Send in the battering rams! You won't make it through this gate! That is Master Ji Li, who serves beneath Yuan Shu. I see. This means that the Paishan have Master Yuan Shu's backing. through the gates and dealt with the enemy army. Now we simply need to make our way to the Paishan's main base. punishment set aside just for you. Yet another enemy officer bows before me! I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable.
defend this area. You rabble! This is our territory! Time to prove that to you and Shao! Truly magnificent, Master Lu Bu. Thanks to your efforts, the Pai Shan bandits have all surrendered unconditionally. That was barely enough to keep me warm. Find me someone stronger to fight. Lord Yuan Shao, this is our chance. We should use Master Lu Bu's strength to slay Gong Sun San. No. Lu Bu, I hope this is the last time we work together. Your mindless aggression is inappropriate for the ally of a nobleman. I will give you a suitable reward, but then I would like you to leave. But my lord... Huh. Fine. Then I have no more use for you. Master Yuan Shao, I wish to thank you for your kindness. Now, we shall take our leave. Uh, uh, are you sure about this, my lord? I am! A nobleman must fight nobly. It is Yuan Shu, though, whose actions are truly unforgivable. He is a member of the noble Yuan clan, yet he cavorts with the likes of bandits. I bring news! Master Cao Cao has successfully subdued the Yellow Turbans in Qing province! But now, Yuan Shu is moving his troops north, and Master Cao Cao's forces are struggling to respond. Curse that Yuan Shu! He knew I was trapped between Zhang Yan and Gong Sun Zan, so he took this opportunity to move north. Yes, that seems to be his intention. He must think that Yan province must be ripe for the taking after having been under Master Cao Cao's control for so long. Cao Cao is a cunning man, but up against Yuan Shu all alone, there is only so much he can do. Send him a messenger! Tell him we will help him fight Yuan Shu. We will show Yuan Shu the true meaning of nobility and send him fleeing from the Central Plains! <laughs> <laughs> 